Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you back to Lovecraft Country and Let's Try Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. As you may or may not know, there are supporter goals in this channel, and we have recently reached the second supporter goal, which means two additional episodes per month, the content of which is voted by supporters. So, if you want to see additional content, both uh, to be added to the regular channel and for supporters only, and you want a chance to vote on what that is, down below is a link to the Gamma Payment Platform information and the benefits you'll get for each level. But in the meantime, let's get to the story. So, you may not remember episode one, and I'm going to put a link up to it there on the right so that you can bounce back and start there if you want to. But if you just want to get a recap and spoilers from this point, let's go. The story so far. Fry Cook and religious fanatic slash serial killer Zoe Samaris recently visited the home of Professor William Hantillagas of the Miskatonic University Department of Astronomy. She arrived at the pretense of delivering meat somehow in the middle of the night, but probably was just seeking out another victim. Upon hearing another scream, a scream, and worried that someone had gotten to her intended victim first, she broke in and encountered Agent Rolling Banks, the worst agent in the Bureau of Investigation. Confronted by a bloodstained, suspicious woman armed with a knife, shortly after hearing a scream, Agent Banks somehow concluded that this woman couldn't possibly be responsible for anything. And like a broken clock, Banks turned out to be right when it was revealed a cult, or possibly a goth rave gone horribly wrong, was responsible for the professor's murder. After killing the perpetrators, rather than, say, taking him in for questioning, and thus left with no actual information on the crime, Agent Banks deputized the knife-happy fry cook to help him investigate the professor's office at Miskatonic University on a probably futile attempt to f discover what had happened. And this is where our story continues. Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Here's the science and astrophysics department. It has changed over the years, but no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. Well, it looks like our resident dead person is going to be quite chatty. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. I kind of like how the FBI agent is letting the um, fundamentalist psychotic killer take all the uh, calls on this sort of uh, mission. Well, yeah, we're using RPG rules in which an improbable group of investigators come together to try to save the world against all logic. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. I wonder if I'd made him the first character, whether or not that would um change the dialogue to where he took point. Don't think so. No, pro probably do they probably didn't record a lot of extra dialogue. Okay, so, okay, exploration and combat overlay. The overlay is in both exploration and combat by pressing tab or clicking on the icon representing the three investigators on the bottom left of the screen, or two at this point. Display by default of the statistics for your current group, mythos, trauma, and conditions. Okay, so we press tab. Yeah, there we go. We have no mythos events active, although we're pretty freaking close. Isn't there something you should be doing? Oh, great. Not only is she going to be chatty, she's going to nag us the whole time. You know, mother... Oh, I just named the game after all. Any case, oops, I didn't notice here that uh, Roland's not using his gun, so we should probably change that. Okay, so where do we go to inventory? Yeah, they're both not using their guns, their weapons. Okay, so, and equip. Because there's nothing should let us get through school easier. You know, quiet. You're dead. You have no right to uh, judge me. A trophy shelf. A shelf full of trophies, all inscribed for the Miskatonic Astronomy Club, but you wonder what sort of astronomy event results in a trophy. I don't know, this is a Lovecraft in universe, the average um, astrological uh, observation could, you know, always like check behind me when I start. I think it was Super Mario World 2 that trained me to do that. Or was it Sonic? I don't know. A door, this goes back to administration. We already have the information we need. Now, if you've actually played the game, you know that administration is one of the spots you stop on the game where you can pick up new skills, which are actually incredibly useful in the game. These lead to the observatory, but we have nothing to do there for now. 
Okay. Let's check out the uh, billboard. Billboard produces a map of the first floor of the science and astronomy building, complete with a big you are here arrow. But note that... Oh, hang on. We can actually see this. Let's see if I can get a better view. So yeah, so we actually have the layout of the area we're in right now, with the staircase leading up the observatory, plus all of these rooms and the side over here. Looks like we have the observatory itself, plus three lecture halls. Plus, of course, the offices, which is what we're here to visit. In the... Okay, so let's check out this what is it? Manila folder. Looking inside, you spot what might be useful. You found a new item, epinephrine. I don't want to know why drugs are being randomly left around on the campus. Probably the Fed's going to have, have to, you know, confiscate this. That's the word, confiscate. Or, I mean, steal. But, I don't know. He's probably just going to claim it as evidence for a crime. Alright, so where are we? Okay, so this book. A notebook. A note left on the bench a student sits on catches your eye. It reads, I can't stop thinking about that queer old book with its strange writing. Even holding it in hand seems to drain my strength, as if it was some sort of vampire sucking away my energy. Professor Tillinghast caught me with it. She confiscated it once. I haven't seen it since. Ah, Twilight Strikes takes another victim. Anyways, um, sorry. Always make a joke about every every bad book is a version of Twilight. Here's Tillinghast's office on the left. Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Do you talk like this normally? Or is this just the... I've always liked the joke that in an RPG universe, there's a sudden moment when the spirit of a player character takes over uh, a person, like demonic possession, and they start off randomly doing things, to the point where perhaps the condition can actually be diagnosed by people in-universe as, you know, PC um, psychosis. Professor Tillinger's door is locked. But of course, my friend, academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. She liked this when she was alive. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. Yeah, you should see what the internet d did to that. We'd better ask Withers for the key. I suppose we should get back to the plot. Stop wandering around. Nope, gonna keep wandering. Okay, so one last thing over here. Hello, don't mind us. The In the corridor stands a bookshelf proudly displaying the publication of Misconic University. Mounted in the center is a plaque reading Lux and Obscurus Sumus, or as Latin readers would translate, We are the light in the darkness. But being as she's a Catholic who's obsessed with religion, she probably actually does know. Excuse me. Latin. All right, so let's see what we got to talk, getting ourselves I into. No, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, right. Oh, they're talking about me. Oh, be quiet. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. I know the dead have names, but sometimes they can be right outright pushy about it. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? God damn it, Roland, what's wrong with your posture? Withers, by the way, is a um, another one of the uh, playable characters in the board game. Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillinga's death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Sir, not appearing in this plot. Listen, pal. Yeah, pull the badge. Wait just a moment, Norman. Oh, wait. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. I recognize that profile. It's another player in the game. Oh, forgive my manners. Ah. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Well, of course I played the game. Yes, but she's the parapsychologist. Thing is, she's like um, a di added to it by one of the um, extra parts. I have that part, but I cannot remember for the life of me what her special abilities were. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillingist. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Something tells us we've... S what ex... Are you supposed to be psychic? Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense. Yeah, would you turn around and look at us? This is kind of rude. No, Professor Withers, she's right. 
We've seen unusual things. You think God talks to you? How is this abnormal for you? We arrived too late to save Professor Tillingist, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, our goth ray have gone horribly wrong. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. Jujaws? I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. I hope to hell that's spelled right and we're not, and this isn't an unfortunate case of, you know, a century back. Politically incorrect. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? Was that a term in the 1930s? I mean, parapsychologist was a term in the late 20th century uh, for people who scientifically pursued occult phenomenon. Nowadays, I don't know if anybody does that anymore. Pretty much seems like it's mostly people on YouTube shouting at things. To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Well, I tend to know who wears the pants in this relationship now. All right, Agatha, cool. All right, mental resistance, 60%, seven sanity, good. Makes a reputation in mathematics and psychology, two fields I never would have expected someone to combine. Well, do you think about it? Humans kind of, you could say the humans are essentially a living algorithm, the personality, a pre-programmed um, uh, energetic structure within a, held within a bioelectric form. <laughs> like my own biology degree, get it me here. Surprising us even more, she turned those studies to the autre field of parapsychology and occult. Some of the others might smile at her behind their hands, but I find her stories and speculations high entertaining, either no more than a bunch of balderdash. Who's telling me this? Because if I recall, this is supposed to be from the dead person's point of view. Yeah, nothing unusual here. All right. Then, okay, initiative strong, melee average, ranged average, magic average. Looks like she had willpower and social, which actually means that, um, let's hang on. We've got logical, oh, this is the worst combination. Oh, no, it isn't. Logical, not social. Okay, so we've got three covered here, but problem is Zoe's only got willpower, because she's neither bright, nor strong, nor smart. She's just determined. Better or worse. All right, so another fraction of the mystery revealed. That is... Okay, so... Okay. Professor Withers. Professor Norman Withers stands before you, puffing his cheeks impatiently. <laughs> so why do people do that? I know you wish to search the observatory, but for the life of me, I can't imagine what you expect to sign there. I guess we're kind of... Well, I suppose the professor here gives us the right to go in. I mean, I personally would be objection to that. A telescope. A small telescope pointed out the window. Peering through it, you must look away from the bright light of the sun. No doubt the view is better at night. Right. That would be true. Okay, let's use the, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Let's use the, um, uh, pathing. Okay, we've got some bullets. Excellent. Uh, we're stealing your ammunition, Professor, but... Well, I'd say we're doing it because you have an illegal firearm, but the 19th... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, give me a moment there. Oh, I wish I knew mathematics better. You could figure out if that actually meant something. It probably does. It's ironic that, you know, if you play, um... If you play uh, Half-Life, the equations you find in the laboratory at the beginning actually are real equations, but they're so elementary. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ah, the old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Oh, we never actually met. Why are we friends? Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel. But I shall always remember this one more fondly. Yeah, and these days of high-powered orbital uh, telescopes and um, radio signal SETI searches that can be done at home, you have to remember that this all started with a bunch of people with a ground lenses ground by hand staring out into the skies who found all the and recorded all the uh, marvels of the universe, which in this universe, unfortunately, means things that are trying to eat you. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. Getting to worry me there. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? One, two, three, that's the exit. Oh, okay. Let's check out these notes. Okay, desk. So much clutter fills the desk, and it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial haystack. You decide to open the small top drawer. You should be so lucky. You found a book, a book of a strain. Durability new, three action points, a minus 70 combat move it, 50% wild cast, whatever that means. Okay, so Agatha, you got this. You're the spell person, I think. You are, right? 
Hang on, let me check this. Uh. Ooh. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. Really? This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, grimoire? I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Agatha, you're not allowed near the rare book section of the library ever. Do you understand that? Necronomicon in your hands would destroy the world in five minutes flat. Jeez. Lovecraftian universe. The first time you find something weird in a book, you want to cast it? That usually doesn't go so well. Ugh. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that Harry Henry Armitage over there at the uh, Orn Library is probably go probably has so far managed to prevent Agatha from finding out that the rare book section actually exists. Mm -hmm. Just in case. <laughs> pipe wrench. Bookcase has a pipe wrench. I'm not going to question this. But that means I'm going to have to equip this. And we are going to move this into Agatha's inventory. <sighs> so she has, you know, mages are supposed to have daggers and backup, right? This looks important. Yeah, you can smash things with it. You're just really happy. Okay, force lock, lock pick, break the door. Lock pick. Oh, good. Found to the hands box. Neat in the lab. Uh, little elbow grease and opening a lock. Are you, no, we picked the lock. Get your, get your terms right. Here is the mysterious box. The label right. marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> this symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. Yeah, she was lying on top of it. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Hmm. Yeah, but pagan in this world and pagan in your world are two different entire things. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. You don't get too excited, Gagatha. <laughs> Many of our colleagues oh, questioned really? Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. Don't you hate it when somebody talks in a movie? We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, one step closer to the will's the Lord's will complete. This kind of reminds me of uh, back when I was playing Dragon Age. All right, the thing. All okay, right, so we go the only place we can go at this point. Yeah, in Dragon Age, the random dialogue would occur between characters. But the thing about oh wait, no, 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 that's willing. Oh, right. I get used to this. All right, here. There we go. All right. Let's talk to the... Okay, the professor is finally facing us, so I guess he's decided to give us the respect of his time. Look here, Norman. See the odd things in this box of Wilhelmina's? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. How do you know she just isn't knick-knack she picked up on her last trip? I don't see what this has to do with her death. Okay. I saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. It's kind of circumstantial, but I don't think this is a guy who ever let the evidence get in the way of a case. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Yes, this is definitely RPG logic. Well, I mean, I left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Yeah, I trust him more than I do you. He's alive, for one thing. Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. What exactly does the occult smell like? Bad break and rancid bacon grease? Seriously. The Lord intends us to help each other as we help ourselves. Together, we can learn what happened to Professor Tillingist. Yeah, says the woman with a trail of bodies in her wake. You're right, of course. Here, yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. That's not the right way type way you spell poor. It's P-O-U-R. Oh, God. 
I love the guys, the devs that are doing this, but oh my god, they need an editor. <laughs> what was that sound? It came from next door. Mm, I don't know, it sounds like a stock sound effect. My office? Who's in there? It's not your office anymore. Ugh, let's... Seriously, the dead person's the chattiest of this group. All right, all right. Eh, class time. Oh, God. All right, we'll open the door. Cool. <laughs> Why didn't we just open the window again like we did at the mansion? We, hell, we've got the FBI agent, or the BI agent. Okay. Uh-huh. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched. And recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Priorities. Look there. Even the safe is broken open. That was damn good if they could get it open within two minutes, which means it had to have done the... Co it's broken open. It's the other combination to break it. Which means it will mean I had a terrible... Uh, a safe Glock. I mean, even my basic one took 15 minutes. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Okay. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. Oh, this is getting bad. And school violence in 1930s, huh? <laughs> With a bunch of people wearing occult symbols. Oh, this is a not good. A series of notes written Professor Tillinghast's distinctive hand. They appear to be nothing more than observations on her students, which she apparently liked to pair off like a matchmaker. While amusing, the notes don't appear to any investigation. Plus one sanity. Kind of pointless, though, because there's no, really no chance to lose any sanity this turn. This game. A bookcase, you find a book by the notorious occultist Alistair Crowley, a real person. Most of you know that. Notice a treatise on astrology. Don't know if it's a real book, though. The safe in Professor Tillinger's office has been forced open, presumably by the same culprit who ransacked the place. There's nothing left inside the safe. Okay. We've kind of... Okay, Colton around. We've kind of been avoiding this. Oh, wait. I wanted to get the painting. Clothes. These are the same people who were in the professor's house. Oh, did you telling me they walked into campus like this? And like nobody... Oh, they did run away. I suppose it was logical, but for God's sakes, why don't you people have shoes on? I mean, or at least sandals. Some people, they're just too much into the aesthetic. They're the ones who looted her office. Stop them. Why would they be the ones who looted her office? They came in with the window. These guys walked through the door. There's a reason you've been stuck to the... Up you've, yeah, you have Mulder's job. Mulder will have your job in the future as the least desired agent in the Bureau. Who are these interlopers? Deal with them while the others escape. Hey, we gotta admit that the cult, that the uh, Kulu cult is inclusive. <laughs> All right. Why does a bunch of people wearing robes break your sanity, dude? It's really not that complicated. All right, move. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no. Oh, oh, there we go. Sorry. Okay, and then confirm. And then attack. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to shoot you. This Overwatch. Two points. I'm going to try something different this time. And oh, now we're going to get him. Oh, crit. Headshot. You know, I normally say we're supposed to be taking him in alive, but you know, this is 1930s. And, well, I hate to say it, he was a colored person in the times. He's pretty, it banks isn't even going to get a citation. All right. This action is called Overwatch. I, I remember from XCOM. Let's see if it works the same here. The investigator prepared to attack even though it's not their turn. The first many that moves when their weapons range. Select the direction of the attack by using left, left, or just left, mouse, and mouse. The investigator only attack an enemy they can see. Okay, confirm they're facing in the right direction. Uh, yes. Now, we're going to use the Book of Restrain on this guy just to see what it work does. Okay. Restrained. Condition. During the course of the game, your investigators will be see the status of various conditions and some positive, some negative. 
When investigators affected you receive immediate feedback, regaining the condition, this feedback will fade, but the portrait will display a buffed or debuffed icon. You can get more detailed information about the enemies, the conditions affecting investigators or the enemies by opening the overlay. So, tab. Strain, three turns. I have no idea what that means in practical terms, but damage, okay, critical hit. At least we got that in this. Okay, so now I'm going to do a switch to this, and then I'm going to Overwatch just in case he comes within range. There we go. That's how you use Agent Banks. Uh, dude, there's no point in refocusing. You're done. I'm sicking her onto you. I like how the fact that it's not going to waste my time here. All right. Now we confirm. Use this and hit him. You're lucky you've been deputized by the Bureau, lady. As the saying goes, what is that? Three, four, five counts of self-defense now? I mean, five cases of self-defense? Okay. That scream is coming from down the corridor. Okay. Oh no, the students! Oh no, the students. Yes, actually the students. The ironic thing is here with Banks is that he really should be defending these students. That's supposedly his job as a lawman. Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go! Well, he's more into killing them than to, uh... Oh, what the hell? What the hell, people? You heard one scream! Before any decision, I should consider a known... I should consider the... Ditch. Making sure we haven't forgotten anything here. You know, you never want to go in doing that. Alright, so... Let's go. Well, this is going to be interesting. Let's start, shall we? A door leads to a different department in the university. You won't find anything professor. Okay, we're actually more concerned in finding where the screams came from. Let's see, move it along a bit, Zoe. Alright. The plaque to the door says a science lab, but it's locked. Alright. Okay, logical. Emptying this might through the fresh canvas. Okay, cool. Oh, we found more bullets. Good. Speaking of which, we should probably reload that, shouldn't we? Now, he only has five rounds, but that's not actually a typo. The thing is that uh, you're supposed to keep an empty chamber under the hammer to prevent accidental... Oh, that hello. That came from right around here. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who? Who's out there? No, oh, you, you might be a potential character for us to play. Get a portrait. It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? Well, it's a voice actor. We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You're relatively calm for this, but if you're a student at Mississippi University, I gotta say, you probably have seen weirder shit than this. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor. They look dangerous. I don't know. We've got a bureau agent, a psycho, and a person who likes to experiment with the dark forces of the universe. I'm not entirely sure that they shouldn't be the ones that are concerned. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. Cultist. This was Professor Tillinga's classroom. We might find clues inside. We have a few things to investigate before continuing down to probably check out that wounded student down there. But however, this being a video game, we're not going to be doing um, the logical thing, which would be to head over and... Um, Help out that person who's obviously wounded. Ah, oh, a packet of cigarettes. A packet of smoke's just a thing to calm the nerves. Plus one sanity, one damage to the cell. We're actually going to have her use them as her sanity is pathetically low. We are certainly going to have her um, become a nicotine addict by the time this is done. Although, I don't think that's how you're supposed to smoke. Also, why are they in a book? Did we just make a reefer out of, like, the Necronomicon? Because there's actually a short Come film about here, that. You. Oh, so there's actually a short film about that um, at the Reefers of Madness. Anyways, so yes, that's an actual film. Let's go. Help me! Okay, student of color. We must protect the students. Religious fanatics attacking them on a school. This isn't really good playing well, guys. Just didn't. They want to rethink the optics in the future. Here we go. All right. Some fights require that you protect civilians. Make sure you can protect them. Use items and spells on them as needed. Basically means we can heal them. Okay, we don't actually have control of him. And stop Help messing me. with my head. 
All right, so that's what he does. He sits there and begs for help. All right, so one of the things we can do potentially with her is set her up as the intercept. All right, so let's move. All right, so we're going to move so she's in the way. Now, the question being, this is as far as we can go and still swing the pipe. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to... How much does Overwatch take? Overwatch 2. So let's... Nope. Uh, no. What we need to do is move her so that she... Actually, we got a little time here. Let's get her into Overwatch position. Yep, when he moves in, we will attack him. Yes. Meantime, we're just gonna shoot people with this gun, because, you know, we got that. All right, and we're also gonna overwatch him as well, so... Which one do we want to shoot at? Probably the one that is closest. So let's go with... Is that him or him? Now, he's the weakest, and that one does the most damage. Let's concentrate on the their DPS and get rid of that, shall we? Although, yeah, let's actually let's start taking out numbers and then we can concentrate instead. So go for him. Uh, attack him. Now set him on Overwatch, which means he's going to be shooting at the I'm a dead shot. OK, I'll give you that. You've been doing pretty well. All right. So now what we need to do is we definitely need to slow down the guy with the most damage back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast. Ooh, we need to move closer, however definite range issue here. Alright, so I'll put you here. Then cast on you. Boom. We'll slow you down. Excellent. And the book... Oh my god, the book's trying to eat her. What? Did you just get both? Oh, you guys are idiots. Spellbooks allow the investigators to manipulate unfathomable energies. Why a spellbook is equipped, the investigator can't use Overwatch to matter the nature of the spell. Some have been known to have unknown effects on your group or enemies. Well, that happened, guys. Ooh, walked right past us. But you're right with an attack range for two of us. All right, so the question is, will this one walk within this? Oh, it can't. The refocus is allowing them to move up in initiative, by the way, which means that they're going to... Oh, yes. Cultist down. The mythos clock is full. The mythos event will be triggered. Okay. Got it. Oh, no. You hear this? This is wrong. Here's explode all. Insanity. You hear? No, no. What is this? This is wrong. Your head's about to explode. Cthulhu is singing to us. Isn't that great? Okay. Help me! Oh, God. We're going to be nut jobs by the time this is done. All right. So what we're going to do. She's stilled right now. Fuck hit this one. Uh, one short. But what we can do is switch over to the fists and then punch this guy to death. I like it. Because he uses one less point of um, action. Yeah, dude, this... Come on, we know what we're doing here. Then we're going to overwatch because you've got two rounds left. Might as well make use of them. Now that'll leave a mark, that's for sure. And you are dead. Yeah, a bunch of pipe wrenches are great and all, but... Are you alright? 45? <laughs> that'll do Thank you. Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. Okay. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillinga's office. Wasn't a very good one. Put this thing down in less than 30 seconds. All right, so, yeah, first things first. Let's see, where is that? Let's, oops, where is that inventory? Yep. Let's reload this. Okay, and we're down to, oh, we've still got 11 bolts left. We're doing okay. So let's talk to this guy. But stepping on his broken leg. Student is bruised and hurt, gives you a gift. Medical look, healing performed, plus two bonus. Hey, that's not bad. I guess this is kind of the optional, uh, bonus we have. The question is, who's going to be doing most of the healing? Uh, to be honest, probably the professor back there, but she needs bandages to do it, and she's got the bromo caffeine. All right, we're going to move the bromo caffeine, which is stars or action points, to him. Give you that. And then you can have... No, 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 no. Don't want to use that. Just want to move it. Oh, 
There you go. You can have those. Okay, all the old RPG rules are coming back on me. Yeah, that's right, just shove her aside. Newspaper article from... Oh, the, this is good! Oh, it's just like the game. You read the wrong thing and you can lose your mind. For the newspaper article from the Arkham... You got a problem there, Professor? An Arkham Gazette. Body vanishes from cemetery by Gerald White. The Arkham Gazette has learned that a body disappeared from the Sydney Cemetery earlier this morning. People have questioned a man found on the scene, believing him to be a witness and perhaps an employee of the cemetery. More information as the story folds. Oh, gods. Let me guess. Let me guess. Herbert West. Been doing his stuff again. All right, all right, all right. So, talk to you in a... Oh, oh Are you scene. hurt? No, he's just lying there for entertainment value. No, just bruised. Oh. Some men in weird costumes knocked me down. Seriously, why are the cultists running around in bad Halloween costumes? It doesn't exactly blend in. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. Oh, what? Again? All right, let's just bandage his filthy but sanity check for target. I'm going to take these for one reason, dealing with civilians like we had there. All right. So, also for really desperate. All right, so... I guess, well, always check, no, always check anywhere but progress first. Staircase, this leaves the marine biology department. That's far from Professor Tillinghast's specialization. Okay, so we pass, ooh, the library. Hopefully we've got some really forbidden books, and you know what? I am going to save here, just in case. My old JRPG um, instincts hitting. All right, let's go play with the cultists, shall we? Who are you people? Man, these pop quizzes are lethal. Oh, that was a terrible joke. Please apologize. There they are. They have the professor's things. Get them back. They do? It's like the professor's bling over here on the left. Oh, that's right. The arrow. You can't see the arrow on the recording, but I'm circling the, the cultist on the left with that interesting necklace and the headband there. Kind of a 1920s version of a hippie. Yeah, we all know those dirty hippies are secretly Cthulhu worshippers. These fools mustn't stop us. Deal with them. Do you like, is there like a guidebook for how to be a cliched henchman? Because that's cool. Classics. Watch out. Okay, we got a person with a gun. Oh, God, it's the brain. All right, so honestly, we should probably deal with her first, but we got a problem that she's too far away. So instead, let's deal with you. And let's get our weapon back, shall we? I feel like the best to equip to uh, change out weapons for free. Oh, and we stunned him. Excellent. He's gonna lose a round, but we all know exactly what we need to do. You need to die. Okay. Now, at the same time, we will Overwatch, since she will be going before the guy in the back, and she's the only one in here. This is perfect. All right, so, Professor, I'm sorry. We're going to have to go with um, Stabby Stabby here. Now we've got two. Do we have enough? Yeah, I think so. Confirm position. Stabby Stab on you. Wait, what? Oh, cost three action points. Three action points? I thought you... Oh, good lord. Oh, I read the I read the display wrong. Anyway, so what we will do is we will equip this and we will go into Overwatch. You're stunned. You're out. Oh, Overwatch doesn't trigger on attacks, which sucks. Oh, well, you bit it hard. Oh, she'll finish you all off. This is Zoe. She kills for the Lord. Let's see which one of you is worse off. Okay, this guy could possibly kill with a gun, so we want to use this attack on you. Oh, that's one less hippie in the world. A little more, um, a little less peace and love and a little more, um, uh, hand to hand. All right, so let's see if we can actually move. Going to give us one, unfortunately. So... For watch is only one, so what we can do. Ah, that's it. Ooh, ooh, I can attack. I was wrong. I thought we were out of reach. Oh, Zoe's just a powerhouse. Uh, 
Honestly, you should just let the professor finish off with a knife, but you can they could always get lucky. So finish him off. Do we get the gun? They won't be knocking down any more students. Now, let's see what they took from Professor Tillinga's office. Knocking down? I think Zoe's got this like problem with swearing or saying harsh language of any sort. Robbing the robbers. It would all seem a bit tawdry if it weren't so poetic. You know, I'd forgotten you were there. <laughs> all right, so let's check out some. Oh, it's a real RPG. We're looting the bodies. Uh, you need to remain hands a good look. All right, fine. Good to know. What the? Stop it! The FBI agent alone should not be getting Sandy checks from bodies. He have to have fought in World War II. World War One, I mean, wrong place. Okay. Search theory. Oh, excellent. A dead body. A search of the corpse turns up a letter from the head of the Department of Science and Astronomy. It grants Professor Chilling has exclusive use of the science lab for a time. Reading between the lines, you presume she intended to perform an experiment here. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. Ugh, God, why? Permission slip. This it's a letter indicates that Professor Tillingus reserved the science lab for some experiment. This, I know reading things in, in Call of Cthulhu is supposed to strain your sanity, but school permission slips are kind of um going overboard in that one. All right. Great. One more ingredient. Oh. oh, well, you're going to snap, which is great. Okay. A uh, pat down should do. Okay, cool. We can do this. Oh, excellent. Telegram missing Lanute. Oh. Well, he's going to snap. I'm going to be shooting people too, I'm sure of it. In the dead man's pocket, you draw out a telegram addressed to Professor Tilling Ass. Alphonse Lanute is the traitor. Stop. Good pros threat to your life. Stop the herd. The herd? Eh, these gang names. Maybe it doesn't solve the mystery, but now we have a couple more names to go on. Alphonse Lanowit and the Herd. You know, I haven't heard of the Herd. Oh, hang on. All right, I deserve that. I don't recognize those names. Herd's a pretty common name. Although it probably doesn't refer to a dairy. Alphonse Lanwy. An unsavory character, indeed. Who asked you? These clues might not make sense now, but we might be able to connect them to others later. I think that's all they took. We should return to Wilhelmina's classroom and tell the students the way is clear. Cool, leads. That's the case. Let's check the classroom. If it was Professor Tillingus, we're bound to find some clue about what happened to her. Well, you're gonna snap, because we're gonna have at least three sanity checks in there. We still got a couple of things here. There's a. The, do, do I dare? Uh, well, it's, the insanities can be fun. In the regular game. Atop of the podium is an outline for the autumn qu constellations, including Andromeda, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pegasus, and Pisces. You sure you don't want to hit me with a sanity check on that? Just, you know. Oh, cool. It's rifle to this guy's stuff. Huh. School bag. Hmm. Uh, empty. Ah! Damn it. Cool. We found a spirit athame, a ceremonial knife that protects the wielder from evil magic. Magic defense plus two. Okay, so... We're gonna put that on Zoe, simply because the blasphemy of uh, doing that. And... So, oh yeah, we are definitely... Alright. Get... Okay. And we are definitely having Zoe use this one. Because, no, add Zoe, you. Yeah, you use it. Confirm. Love how it's like statted out like a healing item. All right, should we be doing any healing here? 12, 30, yeah, let's, let's do it. All right, so we'll use that and we'll use it on Zoe. Excellent. Now she's back to full health. But, yeah, sanity's a problem. An interesting specimen. Ugh, these random things. It's not quite... Oh, 
No, can't see that too well. Quantum is all I see. Is quantum physics a thing in 1923? I mean, I don't recall it ever being noticed in Lovecraft's work, but... It, uh, seriously? The police are terrible in this town. Anyways, let's zip over and uh, talk to the students about and check out the links and go completely bonkers. Let's see. Is this the last classroom? Unlock. All right. So, hi. I'm here to rescue you. Oh, don't tell me we glitched. Did we glitch? Oh, there it's we go. all clear, students. We've taken care of those brutes. All right, she's a kind of a kick-ass professor here. You know, extremist uh, to the campus. Let's just kill them using black magic and my ritual knife. There should be more uh, teachers like this. Thank you, professor. Uh, you don't look like you're going to be a, a companion. First, we must tend to the weak. Then we can take a look around this classroom. Weak? Oh, woman. Fundamentalists of all stripes. <laughs> Another fraction of the mystery revealed. All right, calm down. Threaten, scare, calm. Why would I scare them? The student you manage with quiet words and a soothing voice, you manage to calm the student. She thanks you with a smile and a gift. Bromo caffeine, move to you. Okay, honestly, I think I should switch out the dirty bandages and the Bromo, because if we get her psyched up with Bromo, we can just have her slaughtering people. Alright, yes, a, a um, <clears throat> tanked up, uh, ca over-caffeinated religious zealot. Eh, there's a scary combination. The locked display case is full of rocks, some of extraterrestrial origin. Back away, it's probably got a color from, out of, from beyond the stars. Out of space. Small to point out a window and towards another window. Whoever used this last was a peeping Tom. What? No sanity check? Sheesh. Okay. Let's check out this chair. Oh, more filthy bandages. Just combine them with these. Alright. I really don't hope we have to use these. Can we sell this? Is there going to be a vendor? I have so many questions. A letter. The handwriting letter is difficult to make out, and the sentences go on and on. Deciphering the note, you sign it describes the astrological, astronomical observations by one of Tillinghast's students. A number of sequential dates are crossed off without notes, and the it says that the professor missed several classes. Eh. Not quite the workhorse of academia that she pros, but the dead woman portrays herself to be. Notes. Notes across this desk outline the way ancient cultures regarded the constellations, presumably in the most recent topic addressed in the Rome. What? No sanity check? You sure? Sorry. Excuse me. All right. So right. Let's uh, let's deal with the casualties. Yeah, sometimes uh, people who are just frightened can be considered casualties. Student, thanks you for your help, says a young woman. When she asks Professor Tillinghast, she says, because this is the perfect time to do an interview. She'd been spending a lot of time in the library lately. I noticed she kept a book in her bag. I didn't <laughs> notice the title, but I saw the Y author's name was Y Page. If you can find that book, it might tell you what she was researching. Ah, we have a clue. A good point of data. Another point of data, good. Okay, we've apparently already dealt with you. With your gentle guidance, a student begins to making sense. I am one of Professor Tillinghouse's research assistants, and that is how I introduce myself all the time. I am one of YouTube's um, streamers. One of trillions. Lately, the professor has been working on a project of her own. When I asked her about it, she said it was a project too advanced for me. I guess I was a little insulted, so I spied on her. I saw her look at the books in the, in the third book case in the third bookcase from the back of the library, the one with all the dictionaries and encyclopedias. She seemed impatient for results. If only she'd let me help. So, third bookcase from the back of the library. Okay, so hopefully that's gonna make sense. Alright, so, sure. Oh yeah, we should probably just check this map. Tab. Where, oh, boom. Uh, search, 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 search. Story. Disreputable character. Office. Hmm. There's enemies, just the strange dudes. Alright, investigate library, investigate classroom. Hmm. Oh, no! 
The student looks nervous, perhaps shaken by what he read in the paper. A bunch of people just came with guns and clubs and started attacking the school. I don't think, you know, the sports page is going to be that horrible in comparison. Have you heard? Professor Tillinghast's body disappeared from the cemetery. The only witness is Albert Hatcher, the gravekeeper. Whatever you saw drove him mad. What could that be? Oh, you are Professor alive. Professor Tillinghast's body vanished from the cemetery? How ghastly. Uh, she's obviously going to cut in here. Who on earth would steal my corpse? It must have been grave robbers, of course. It isn't as though I could have leapt up and walked away. That is suspicious denial there, woman. You are wandering the streets like uh, uh, it's a living corpse and admit it. This Albert Hatcher is our only witness. We should visit him when we're done here. Okay, so we have places to go. I wonder, it's probably just a linear plot line, by the way, so I, there isn't, like, different locations you can visit, I'm guessing. Or I could be wrong. Asking the right question. A young woman who says, hiding in the classroom, said she was one of Professor Tilling asked students. Why she still appears frightened, perhaps you can question, coax more information out of her question. She questions students. She says, a few months ago, the professor asked me to return a book to the library. I returned it without looking at it. Whatever it is, is a large yellow book. A large yellow book from the third... Okay, I think we're done here. I guess you guys are going to have to wait for law enforcement that knows what it's doing. Because I don't think Banks does at Two Sanity. Alright, so I think we'll clean this place out, so it's time to hit the library. So let's check this place out, just in case. Laboratory. Ah, we don't have the key for it. Alright, there we go. Hi guys, still wounded? Oof, it's a bitch when they, um, they don't have enough uh, animating power to get you guys out of here. But hey, you linger and suffer a bit. Alright. Hi everyone. Oh god, let me guess. Third. Right. Is it a yellow book? Uh. Hmm. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, let's go. Or we're gonna have fun with this. Yeah, we're gonna go crazy. Boom! Oh god, increase the chances of you failing in the next Sandy check. We're all gonna go bonkers. Yep, we're gonna go crazy. Alright, alright, last one. You know, I thought this was the right one, but I'm just awful at this. Fading sanity. Great. Okay. Third from the back? Eh, if I dare. Hmm, is it back here? Biology. No. Oh, right. This would be about astronomy. No? You know, it would have been a little easier if I'd paid more attention. Kind of my own worst enemy at times. Geology. Through the encyclopedias. Yeah, I could not get through this stuff without... Uh, gods. Encyclopedias. Alright, so this is the right area. Nope. But that was the wrong person. person. Yeah, we'll get another one soon. Oh, finally. Oh, the yellow tome, the heavy one. Among the reference book, you find listing scientific groups in the United States. One of them is called the Herd of Algidae, a small astronomical society based in New Orleans Garden District. Oh, that's going to be bad. Here it is again, the Herd of Algidae. There's some sort of astronomy club. That explains the professor's interest. Yeah, sure. Astronomy club. They're based in New Orleans. New Orleans, thank you. Perhaps that's where the professor went on her trip. That makes sense, since she circled the name in the book. Why would you do that to a library book? I do feel a pang oh, of guilt God. at defacing a book in such a manner. I must have had a very good reason for it. No one asked you. That wasn't actually a question I wanted you to ask, to answer. 
I think we visited all the places Professor Tillingist worked in the university. Are we done with the scenario? It's about time we return to Norman's office. Perhaps he's made some headway with those notes. Okay. We're gonna get attacked on the way back, aren't we? Okay. Do we dare? Yes. What is the point of having these temptations if I don't fall for them? Out of the way. Come on. A note. Written by a student. One point split the... What? Alright, cool. We have like a bonus for uh, getting all the recipes. Home cook meal or something like that. Achievement. Oh, cool. More bullets. Pocket watch. Mythos clot drops to zero. I need this badly. Use, but... No! No, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to move and replace it with the dirty bandages, because I have absolutely no use for those at the moment. Alright, so... Oh, look, it even stores it there if I want to come back, if I use up something. Right, alright. Ooh, two in the back. Two in the back. Good at that bust, and... Probably going to avoid using the... The, the uh, books there, just in, just in case. A bust. A marble bust of a distinguished-looking man. The pack is inscribed James Irwin, President, Miskatonic University. Do not know the reference, if there is one. The bookshelf. Discovered a record of comic sightings since the dawn of astronomy. Some of the comics won't return for 10,000 years. Interesting. William Hamma gas is listed as one of the borrowers. That was 15 years ago. Any no comment on that, Professor? Ugh, slipping. Slipping in your uh, older than old age. What exactly is the best way of saying that if you're if you're dealing with a dead woman. Um, probably need to get back here. All right, cool. Yeah, drive you like a tank. Mm. Hello, does anybody want to play? All right, fine. Withers, are you still alive? Oh, you're back at last. Did you find the cause of the commotion? Okay, so this guy is completely unnoticed that there's been a gunfight going on in his school. I'm calling it. He's deaf. We took care of it, Doc. Still, there might be trouble ahead. We discovered another clue as to what happened to Professor Tillingist, as well as an enemy. We all know what you do with enemies, Zoe. An enemy of Wilhelmina, poppycock. Everyone liked her, even the students. There are nine dead. There are twelve dead bodies that say otherwise. Do you know any reason why she requested exclusive access to the science lab for several days? What? No, she had no need of a lab. As an astronomer, she spent most of her time in the observatory, not among flasks and beakers. The broken glass we found in Professor Tillingus' house looked like it might have been a flask or beaker. Okay. Here, this is the key to the science lab. You can find the entrance in front of Wilhelmina's classroom. Cigarettes badly. More evidence to log. Okay. All right, social. Calm. Student injured in the ruckus in the quarter hid himself inside Professor Withers' office. By think shelter, he looks fearful. Right, so we got more bandages. Cigarettes would have been preferred, by the way. Let's actually just give one to each, okay? Wait, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Two, I guess. All right, so, and this one... And we just dropped this one here. There we go. All right. Thank you for the, the first aid material that you probably desperately needed yourself that we have requisitioned. Well, we've got the Bureau with us, so I guess that's okay. All right, let's go check out the science lab, and the last of our dwindling sanity shall be pooled into a puddle at our feet. All right. Mad Scientist Laboratory, Miskatonic University. Did nobody clean up after... um? Uh, How did you... Carter. I could have sworn I locked that door. You'll regret opening it. Oh, gods. What the hell are you? Seriously. I, that profile pic There's is something weird. very wrong about this man. It's, you don't say. Look what he did to that god. Grab him before he tries it with us. Grab him? We're gonna shoot him. All right, cool. We're probably gonna... Okay, cultist priest. I gotta get to him. Where is he? The back. All right, so... Let's move. Do, 
to do. No, no, no. Gods. That's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, what is three? One, two, and three. Give us a minute. We've got a spell book. Two. Cannot do that. So I'm going to have to punch him. That's not going to be any good. All right, so confirm position. I doubt we're going to be able to swing that. We only have two left. That's right. Oh, well. Wait, what? Ugh. Hmm. All right, let's equip this. Overwatch. Yes, because they have to move up to us to attack. Oh, I forgot to reload. I'm an idiot. Anyways. And we'll overwatch. The last bullet. Alright, so... You... Target. That guy. Let's... Oh, and the book went out of control again. Stop hitting her! God, the book doesn't like the Christian. I can't imagine why. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Let's see if we're gonna put ourselves right here. Put the knife... Okay, confirm position. Put the knife in. And we can't overwatch. Use up all the moving points. Oh, well. Okay, cool. Move on. Okay, so that's the last bullet, so I'll have to reload before we fire. Okay, refocus to get ahead of her. And he's gonna cast something. Ooh, magic missile. Oh, you can attack and I can Oh, that sucks. Come on, come on, come on. Get into there. Yes. Well, at least you got a hit in there. Oh, she's getting pounded on. Right, switch back to this, and we're gonna go for the most wounded one, which is actually. Huh. Let's switch that out. Equip. Let's attack this one with the pipe wrench. Then switch over to the fist and finish that one off. Oop, that one. Oh. Give me a second here. The fist doesn't have enough range. Oh, there we go. That's my tank, Zoe. Yeah, you are out of bullets. It's my fault. Load. And we shoot. Yes, definitely him. Oh, she's getting pounded. All right, can we use healing on her? Where's the heal one? Use. Ah, got to be within range. All right, so let's move. Okay, then we're going to use the healing book on Zoe. Yes. Magic bandages activate. Okay. Next, we're going to Knivy someone. Ooh, wait, can't do that. Unfortunately, we only have two action... Ah, don't do that. Two action points remaining, so we're going to Overwatch. That's about all we can do. Ooh, a healer. Thank you. I like how the cultists do that. Oh, uh, oh Aberrant Tangle. Invisible Tangles and try your twins, slowing you. Move distance, move distance, lowered combat until end of fight. Ah, I forgot to use the clock, but we might have to use that later. Oh, great. Zoe snapped. Psychosis strikes. Monophobia. Every once is gone, you're all alone and can possibly survive. Low chance of sanity loss when last standing in combat. Not huge. Not huge. Suffering trauma. Once an investigator's sanity reaches zero, a trauma will be inflicted on him or her. Your investigator can be infected by three different traumas simultaneously. A board trauma upgrade and existing trauma. If your tra investigators accumulate too many traumas, too quickly you can change the course of events. These traumas can be purged and leaving the investigator at the office between scenarios. Can we actually do that? And stunned. Great. You're stunned. You lose your turn. But you get plus two sanity back? I can deal with that. 
Yep. Finally, the cultist is dead. Alright, so what we want to do is Overwatch. No, it doesn't work against him. Unless they, uh... Nope, let's just reload. You know, we should learn our lessons here. Alright, so... Ooh, she's getting pounded on. Restraint is over. Okay, so... Let us... Oosh, first things first. Bandages on Zoe. She's back to normal. We can the knife uses three action points for you. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll move. Give them another target. Firm position. Can't stop here, apparently. There we go. And and turn. Ah, uh, Zoe's just getting pounded. Alright, but let's finish you off. Oh, I forgot to use the... Oh, well. In that case, we'll just have to attack this one. Hopefully finish him off. Or get him low enough that can be finished off. Ah. Okay, now the thing to do here, by the way, is to make sure to get the one that's going first. Yes, attack him. Also, the one doing moves more damage, because then hopefully, hopefully the good doctor, um... That pull it back in. Can finish this guy off. And we Canivium. Oh, this is going to be a lot of paperwork, isn't it? What just happened? Oh, God, Zoe, whatever you're on, don't again. That man cast a spell. Oh, I know how that sounds, but you saw it with your own eyes. Something Wilhelmina researched proved dangerous, fatally so for her. Okay, one step closer. Oh, do we dare search the bodies? Got to. What does the notebook say, anyways? Dory. Hmm? From you, him, you took a note varying locations, Arkham, as well as a witch house, whatever that might be. <laughs> Gods. Yeah, leader of the strange men. A companion to the strange men. His garb is different from the rest. Perhaps to underline the weird powers he wields. Could it be some sort of magic? I realize he isn't very scientific. Suggest such a thing, but what else could it be? I don't know. But considering we're already using magic... Pat down. All right, cool. I scrap it. Oh, of course. Oh, there we go. He blows. Boom. On a scrap of paper in his pocket, you find a list of locations. Professor Tilling's mansion, the Miskatonic University Asylum, and something called a witch house. Oh, you know what? Okay. That's nothing to do with the with the horrors, by the way. He's just God. It's initiative slightly lowered. Ray dear me, you remember the lovely time on the beach when the sun was shining? Oh, your mind wandered off again. Okay, so apparently, yeah, I'm gonna guess that this is just his hangover. But at least you got your sanity back. All right. Roll an acted wine trauma. Okay, so quick look around, shall we? Let's see if we can get, break our people any further. Vintage is filthy. Eh, might as well. I mean, we, first thing we need to do is uh, then move these here to the actual healer. There we go. Hmm. No, that's not how. That's just. Who left the Bunsen burner burning? God damn, that's a safety violation and a half. Oh, guys, I need to talk to the people running this place. Not only do they have lousy security, they have lousy safety protocols. Miskatonic is a death trap. Well, a chalkboard. This class notes in the chalkboard are partially erased if there's somebody begun to clear the board before noticing enormous do not erase notice. No sanity check? You sure? All right, cool. Let's go ransack the back room. All right, so yeah, I sense sanity loss. 
Yeah, scattered in pe pages and notebooks litter the area. It may be tedious to search at all, but doing so might turn an overlooked clue. Many of the jumbled notes mention the imminent passage of a comet Professor Tilling S appeared to be studying. Okay, but you're not actually... Wait, it says if you look... I'm going to guess that's just flavor dressing. Yeah. I thought maybe if you scanned it again, it might give you a different entrance because it suggested doing so. Yay. Oh, look. We found the set of the 1923 remake of The Alien. Okay. Looks like it was Sushi Night. Hmm. Not sure if I like that particular Heaven role. Preserve us. It's a little demon in a bottle. No matter its origin, you must admit it is a scientifically important discovery. Lamina. Place and time. That container looks the same as the broken glass we found at Professor Tillinger's house. Do you suppose someone took one there? Oh my god, there's a face hugger on the loose? Objective updated. Let's take a look at it. Let's break our minds! A strange worm-like creature with tentacle-like growths lies in the operating table. It appears dead or dormant. Something about this strange appearance strikes revulsion into your heart. This thing's an abomination. Rather than let it you find it, you decide to burn it. Burn it all! We can't just leave this thing behind. We have to destroy the body. Burn it. Not quite sure why. Oh, wait. You can't know how this creature's flesh will react to flame. Don't take the risk. Oh, I'm sorry with the safety violations we've found so far. You're right. We can't let anyone else get a hold of this thing. That's the correct thing to do in any Call of Cthulhu game. Burn it all. You have managed to stay sane. Professor Tilling has spent at least as much time as uh, we are. Because on university, she did her own home, but there's no better place to investigate her activities before the gruesome murder. Main objectives, investigate the office, if retrieval is taken, find information. Autophobia, daydreaming, and no trauma. Investigators are returning to the office. Okay. The great Keeper Albert Hatcher oh. is the only one who saw how my body left the cemetery. And whatever it was broke his sanity. Questioning a madman might not be easy, but it's the only lead you have. I am right. She is the game master. All right. What is lost is never found. Okay. Um, gods. Trauma removal condition. Trauma. Investigators can overcome one trauma every time it doesn't present a scenario. Be careful who you choose to bring and who you don't. Now, here is what we probably should do. Now, first of all, this is going to be the end of the episode, but we can only bring two investigators and we're leaving her behind because if I believe her trauma, she can definitely start racking traumas like crazy. But this is going to leave us with the professor, who's a relatively weak. Con She's average in melee as opposed to Zoe being strong. Initiative in melee, average, average across the board, strong initiative. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. She's only bringing in the... um. Only bringing in some heavy damage, but you notice that the gun has pretty much been doing most of this. Now, this means you will have the daydreaming issue when it comes to initiative. The initiative will drop, but he already starts as strong, so yeah. But in any case, sorry, I'm already setting out the next mission. This is as far as we're going. Oh, I'm an old RPG um, warhorse. Every time I see one of these things, I just want to start um, statting out what would be the best way of doing something. You know, that old min-max attitude. All right, and boom. Uh, no, we're just gonna not continue forward, but that would be where I would default. I'd also make sure to give her the, um, wrench instead of, uh, of course, Zoe over there. We'll leave Zoe alone in the house full of occult lore with plenty of things that could start fires. I'm sure that will be fine. Anyway, guys, this is Fantastic World, saying for all from Lovecraft Country, and the supporter edition of... Arkham, let's try Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace. Anyway, so right now, like I said, this is going to give you guys, with the extra votes, the better idea of which, whether or not this is the series you want me to run, because usually I'll run first and second episode. But in any case, um, the next one will be coming up next week, and I'm thinking we're, I'm sorry, maybe not next week, we'll be coming up next month, and I'm thinking we're going to be celebrating Mother's Day. This would have been a one. Uh, this would have been a good episode to do that, but I've got an even better one. So I will see you next time.